this is the second tutorial and today we're going to be doing setting up the movement and animation so as we left off this is where we got to last tutorial and we've got our player so on so today we're going to be doing movement as I said and what we want to do is we want to select the character actions, code snippets and we are going to go to animation and move with keyboard arrows. Yeah, come on. And my thing is crashed again. And it's annoying. There we go. Perfect. Okay. And I'll explain all this code to you. First of all, it sets variables and it makes them a tab boolean. A boolean is either a true or false statement, basically and it basically makes that so we're just going to move this to the variable setting variable my god spell variable I'll just put vars then it adds the event listeners it adds an enter frame event which it checks every frame because the frame rate is 24 it should be checking it every 20, 24 times a second and we're just going to move direction, I'm just going to click that and it makes it to the player so we're going to delete that then it adds a new um, event listener to the stage and it's a keyboard event and it says if the key is down so if the key is down and do something and this is to basically unset it so when the key is up so I'm going to do key Okay, so then we want to change these function names and there we go. Okay, so it's basically the code starts here. So it will access this function when a key is down and it will say find the key code which has been pressed and it will say if the keyboard is up so if the up key is pressed then up pressed is true which is here and so on for left down right and if it's up if the keyboard key is up then it makes them false so then this function checks every 24 times a second and checks if the up is pressed if the up is pressed then the player will go upwards and save downwards left and right so if I press enter control and enter and play this or test the movie and I press the keys it will do that and close but you can either do that but as we're doing for the iOS we're going to make it for specifically the um, touch sensitive controls so I'm going to do make these called touch buttons and I'm just going to draw some quick buttons So I'm going to move that to rotate that horizontal. Scale that. Move that a bit. Uh -huh. I'm going to call this have that there. Uh, I'm just going to do like a little light fade. Actually, we're going to do light fade. So there we go. And now we've got buttons. We're going to press F8 and create a new new clip. Create this into a button and call it a touch button. And we're going to make this go right. 
Copy paste that. Do it for the other. And call this left. And we're just going to basically call this left and right. Then we're going to put this into the code. So we're going to go back on our actions layer. And we're going to get rid of this. And we're also going to get rid of this. This will be in the description if you don't want to um, make it an iOS app and put it onto um, web. You can use that instead. But what we're going to do is we're going to use touch events. So I'm going to... Okay, sorry about that. What we've basically done is we've added these. And if you, this will be in the description so you can copy it down. But basically it will add it so you can hold down the key and press it single handedly. So this will be in the description which you can copy and paste. And as you, what it's basically doing is it's adding an event listener mouse if the mouse is down. And it's adding an event listener if it's clicked and if it's out of bounds. So if you drag it and drag it across from the screen it doesn't move. And that's it was it took me a while to figure that out when I first did it. But if we go into this now as you can see it works fine. Okay. So so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it move left and right. This, you know, change the scale of it, change the, the horizontal. So what we're going to do to do this is we're going to do player.scale equals minus one. Or it might be scale x, sorry. Scale x equals minus one. And then scale x equals one. So if I press right it should go the opposite way and so on. As you can see, there we go. Quite a simple piece of code. Okay. Mm. Now what we want to do is we want to make it move. We want to actually we're going to make it small first. So I'm going to go on character and I'm going to scale this down. I'm actually going to make it quite small and then I need it to be. There we go, and I'm going to make it there. So now if I enter, it should work perfectly. Okay, that's a bit messed up. Okay, and that's because of it not being the right size. I should have predicted that. Mm. Okay then. What I want to do is I want to get rid of that. Get rid of that. Player dot scale x equals minus one and make that to one. Okay, why is it doing that? <laughs> I think it's a bit, hmm. okay. me what for this. I will back in a minute.
Okay, we got it working. What I've basically done is I've remade the outsiding clip and I have basically resized it, sized it from inside. Never resize the actual out um, movie clip, always resize it from inside the movie clip or I will give you that weird thing where you're scaling it. But as you can probably see if I play the movie, it works. Woohoo! Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of animation into this bad boy. So we want to double click and we want to make two layers. We want content and actions. And on content layer you want to put a move clip with your character standing. I'm going to call this stand. And then we want to point the frames as stop. And the actions. Stop the frame. Then we want to do another frame and make that a normal frame insert a movie. Insert a keyframe, sorry, but yeah. I'm losing my mind. But um then we want to put here a movie um clip of uh animation. So I've already animated my Okay, I've got the animation done. It's not the best I could have done because I've ported it and smallened it down. It's not the best but it will do I think if I put that up a bit so that one's down on that oh yeah because I've got to make it Okay. <clears throat> now I'm also going to do this with this one. So two, and we're also going to make this at the top. So now the animation is probably the best I can do. <laughs> down okay there we go so now we've done the animation it's got to instance name it instance name so we're going to call this walking character and we're also going to put these into a folder called character and we're going to make a folder for buttons as well. Okay, so we'll save it. Now we're going to go actions and we're going to implement this in. So, first thing we need to do is we're going to go say player, go to and stop number two, and play those. Stop number two. Okay, this should work if it plays and doesn't crash on me because my computer's shit and all. But so I'm proud of my French if you don't. Oh, yeah. If you don't swear, pardon my French. Okay, then, because it's giving me errors. Let's try again. Hopefully, this time it'll work. Please. Please. Oh god, my computer, I need a new one. But, come on, let us give me my flash movie. The amount of memory. I'm guessing that's because it's using... Okay. It does not like that. And why does it not like that? I do not know it's not running properly. Also the arm's a bit weird. Ah, uh, who cares? 
It's only a tutorial, Tom. It's only a tutorial. Any, it's because this the recording software is running using too much memory. That's why it's doing this to me because it is stupid. I'm sorry for wasting your time. You can skip past this. Oh, screw it! That's sick. Does not like it. Should work anyway. Anywho, what we're going to do now is we're going to make it go to a stop one when it goes out. So we're just going to make that happen. This go put it after the whenever it says right false. So and. To test this, we're going to export it. Move it. Desktop. Move it. Swift move it. And hopefully, this doesn't give me an error exporting it. It will work properly. Woohoo. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um. Okay, I'm going to increase the memory to 512 meg just so I can run this. It should work. Now, because I've gave it 512. Oh god. What? Oh yeah, I've got to equip. No. Okay, I'll quit. And I will open it up again. Bear with me, guys. This has been bullshit. Okay, now it works. Woohoo. Because of this and it doesn't work the animation properly, I'm going to increase the frame rate to make the animation faster. Not the best animation, but it works, doesn't it? I think I'll put it to 40, see how 40 does, off. and then if it does too fast, I'll do it to 35. Just trying to get the best frame rate. Okay, I think that's a bit too fast. 35. I think that's alright. Anywho, <clears throat> that's that done. Then let's move this a bit down. And we are going to make a simple background. We're going to make some background. Next tutorial, we're going to make in a world which the character can scroll in. So I will see you in the next tutorial. Enjoy, rate, comment, subscribe, thanks for watching, goodbye.